One really common question we get asked is about the custom subdomains or the C name setup for IDX broker accounts. I want to show you where we test this. There's a bunch of different places on the internet, but this we started using this years ago and we just keep using it. You go to centralops.net and then you can put in this URL or if you go to their web page, there's another place. But you put in a domain name. This is called Domain Dozier. You put in a domain and you're going to get this information about a domain. This is all publicly available. This is nothing secret. And if um, you put in a, a C name that is set up for IDX Broker, then it'll look like this. One of the first ways we know is that it says here the alias is subdomains.idxbroker. And then we come down here and you can see homesforsale.soldbylowry.com and then it says C name, id, subdomains.idxbroker.com. That's set up correctly. If that has an A name, it's not set up correctly. It just won't work. In fact, most won't let you put in an A without a without a IP number. If you set up a redirect, that's not going to work correctly either. It has to be a C name. What a C name is, is it's just kind of like an alias. It changes the name. And so what we're doing is we're changing homesforsale.soldbylowry.com to make it redirect over to subdomains.idxbroker.com. So if, for example, I put in here www, you can see that that is a C name, but that points over here to soldbylowry.com, which is normal, and that's a great way to set it up. But that that won't work that on the, your server. You've got to change that if you want to use this for your um, if you want to use the www for your IDX broker. That needs to be changed, so it says subdomains.idxbroker.com. If you want to put something like search. Well, that doesn't even exist, so we're going to get an error here. So they have to set that up. Um, I think these folks use search, if I remember right. Yep. And so again, you can see their search points over to subdomains.idxbroker.com. This is really important, and it's, I think, one of the great features of using IDX Broker is that you can use it with your domain. One thing about subdomains is some people think that Google's going to index all the MLS listings and give them a ton of Google juice for it, and they'll rank really high on all the search engines because of that. Well, that's not necessarily true, and there's two reasons why that's not true. The first reason is Google knows that this is the same content that 8,000 other real estate agents in your uh, MLS have, and so they realize it's duplicate content and typically they'll punish you for duplicate content but they're also smart enough to know that these are IDX listings and so that I don't believe they either punish you or give you credit for them. Now you, they will index them sometimes and you will show up on a search engine listing but uh, it's not a good business plan. Uh, you know, if it happens, great, but you can, I wouldn't build a business around that. What does get you traffic is save searches and pages with widgets and things like that. Those build out content and you'll get traffic for that. Just one, two, three Main Street as a listing on your domain, that's probably not going to do you that much good. One reason also, the second reason that you don't get a lot of credit from a Google for that is because you're competing with companies like Zillow and Redfin and Realtor.com who pour in a whole bunch of information around all the uh, listings and they spend millions of dollars a year to get those listings showing up on the top page. So um, if you're going to spend a few hundred bucks a year to get a bunch of Google juice that, that works, and you can get some juice for that for certain communities or certain keywords. But if you're trying to rank for 123 Main Street or any listing that comes through your MLS, you've got to have some pretty deep pockets to compete with those big portals. And 
typically what we found is if you're not willing to do that, which we don't recommend to people, then you need to do something else, which is make community pages and make out other content for your website that you can get some Google juice for. So that's kind of a big uh, explanation about custom subdomains, but this is where you can check it out, Domain Dossier. In fact, uh, I think if you just Google that, these guys come up number one, and you can click that and just put in your request.